Hey everyone, it's the beginning of November, which means it's almost time for juries. If you're in college or if you're in high school, you might be getting ready to pick out your solo and ensemble music, or maybe something you might want to play for a college audition. A popular piece with beginning four mallet students is Yellow After the Rain by Mitchell Peters. This is a solo that's been around for a long time, but I still love it because I think every student who plays it improves both technically and musically. And I have all of my beginning four mallet students learn this solo. One of the more challenging sections of this piece is in the very end, the last section where the melody occurs voiced in four mallet chords. While it can be tempting to want to jump in and learn this section at full tempo as written, I find it helpful to break the section into various phrases and create a warm-up exercise for each phrase. To start with, I'll start with the beginning chord, play that a number of times, only moving to the next chord when I'm fairly comfortable of where I'm going next. stroke but also I'm visually confident of where I'm going next. From there I'll create an exercise where I'm playing each chord four times, then three times, two times, and then once. Because of course when I play each chord one time that results in the music that's written on the page. with the other phrases within this section. So that way, if I use this as a warm-up, not only am I warming up my hands, getting the proper relaxed motions going in my wrists and in my mallets, but I'm also warming up my mind and starting to focus on the awareness of where my hands need to go next. I hope this video was of help to you and can hopefully inspire you to create exercises out of the other sections of the solo or any other piece on which you might be working.